Why does working to impress and do a good job for the people in my life work so much better than trying to impress new people? This has helped me a lot to have a much higher quality life and to build deeper relationships with people. A lot of my life, I focused mostly on impressing new people in my life. So for example, when I'd go to go out with a new girl for the first time, I'd get all dressed up, I'd try and really look good and sound good and be the best version of myself. And then, the longer I went out with her, the more I'd stop trying to impress her. I'd just really let it go and not care at all. And after a little while with me, most girls said, Ew, I, you're not even into me at all. And so then I would work hard again to impress a new girl and uh, work hard again to impress a new girl. And the problem was I never had good relationships because as soon as I stopped needing to impress a girl, as soon as I got to some point of commitment, then I figured, oh, okay, I don't have to work anymore. And I always would have that energy somewhere. I'd be at a new job trying to impress everyone at the new job. And then when I was there for a little while, I'd say, oh, I don't need to impress you guys anymore. My life was like that, where I mostly focused on trying to impress, do a good job, really pay attention in new situations. And I see lots of people, especially online, that do that. Or making connections, especially in business, that do that. Or in relationships, same thing I used to do. Here, let me do a really good job for this new client. And then once you've been a client for a little while, eh, you kind of take you for granted now. Or let's connect online and we'll have all these great chats. And then after I've known you for a while, eh, I'll just remove you or I don't really need you anymore. Websites and organizations tend to work the same way. Lots of times they'll work really hard to impress someone new that comes in. A company will work really hard to bring a new employee in. They'll show them all these nice things and how awesome the company is and then once they get there, oh, you're just another employee now. And when that gets done to everyone, it leaves kind of this sour work environment where everyone got the best the company had to offer right away and then they got into this reality that was kind of disappointing. So if you can see how that's done and so often done in life, then you can see if you're doing that yourself and you can see all the benefits you get out of trying to do a good job to impress the people who are already in your life, to take care of the employees your company already has, to take care of the family members and friends you already have. I'm grateful I've had a lot of friends for most of my adult life and it's because I've focused most of my energy on those friends instead of on new friends. So most of my adult life, I've kept in contact with the same friends, and I haven't put much energy into making new friends. I've made new friends, but I haven't worked hard to try and impress new friends the way you see some people who always have new friends all the time and don't have any long-term friends. You get a lot better results out of impressing the people already in your life because the people already in your life are in the best positions to give back to you. I noticed I had a support group online for a little while. I called it my online success group. And what I tried to do is get people in that then we could work together to succeed online. Well, our meetings weren't very good at first. We talked about some stuff. We got to know a little bit about each other. But one guy, one guy stayed and I've now been talking with him for months online. Now we have really good conversations because we know each other a lot better. We don't have to go into all that, hey, let's get to know you kind of thing. We know each other a lot better now. We really can get in depth on things. And so I don't recruit any more people to that group because the one guy that I talk with now every week that is a lot more value than trying to bring all these new people in all the time for both of us. Same thing with family members. Same thing with my wife. I try now to impress my wife the same way I used to try and impress a new girl that I went out with. I try and be a great guy for her every day, all the time. Because she's great for me every day, all the time then. 
I don't want to take her for granted the way I took every other relationship for granted because then I was in a crappy relationship. So you get what you give in life. And if you go around trying to impress new people all the time, what you end up with is the company effect I mentioned. Everyone in your life that meets you at first thinks you're great, thinks you're so awesome, wants all these things from you, and the more they get to know you, they get kind of disappointed as they get to know the real you. And so you set the expectations high when you try and impress new people all the time. And then when they get to know you, they're disappointed. And so you tend to have lame or lackluster relationships that don't last. If you just be yourself all the time and work your hardest to impress the people already in your life, then you won't bring in new people as fast. What you will get is you will get a lot more out of the people already in your life. And the people in your life can do so much more for you than the people who are not in your life or the people who are new. If you really want anything to get done well, you want to think of it more as a long game. You want to get to know someone over a year, two, three years, and you want to set the expectations low to start with. Look, I don't have much time for new people in my life because I make time for the people already in my life. I'm not going to talk with someone new I just met for hours and hours on end now. I go to a support group. I meet new people all the time there. I'm not going to talk to them for that long because I've got responsibilities. I have people in my life already to talk to. My wife, my mom, my friends, my brother, all of my extended family. I have people to talk to. All of the people in the support group I've been seeing for a year there. I have people already that I'm serving so I don't have time. I don't make time for someone new to come into my life and just take up all of my time. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll give you a couple minutes at most. And if you're part of my support group or you're in a place I'm already at, Maybe I'll talk to you and a few other people for a while. But that's the thing. I don't sit there and try and impress new people in my life because I focus on doing a good job for the people already in my life. It works a lot better to have a stable group of people in your life that you do really good for and that do really good for you because there's not that feeling of loneliness then. People know me and I know them. The people in my life know who I am and I know who they are and it's nice. We don't have to get to know each other all the time. And I was a military brat. My mom was in the army and we moved around. So most of my life I was in the habit of these let's impress new people all the time because I moved and I didn't have the chance to make in-depth friends. So I didn't even learn how to make in-depth friends very well until I was older. And let me tell you, Having someone in your life for a long time and taking care of that is worth so much more than trying to always impress the new people that are in your life. So today, I pray that I can continue to think first of the people who are already in my life and then with whatever time I have left, I can think of people who are newly arriving in my life. I pray that by sharing this with you, all of us will have the chance to take as good of care as we can to the people already in our lives because all of us have lives full of people in one way or another. And if we're taking care and if we're putting time and energy and giving attention to the people in our lives already, then we can all not feel lonely. We can all feel included in a part of a safe and happy group of people. I pray today that by sharing this, that I will always keep in mind to set limits on interactions with new people and to focus my attention on the existing people in my life so that we can all experience the love and joy of being alive together and that I still can welcome new people into my life gradually. So thank you for being here with me. I'm honored at the time you've spent and I hope that you have a wonderful day today.